Yeah. All right, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Get Real, hosted Get by Real. me, BM, me, Ashley, and me, Peniel of B2B. This is where we get real about the ups and downs of young adulthood, but yeah. from whose perspective? Our, Our perspective. perspective. <laughs> Today, we're talking about school. What did Ew. it teach us? Yeah. Would we do it all over again? And what are some things we wish that we had learned? Mm. If there's anything you guys want to hear our take on, interact with us on our socials. Leave us a comment when our full episodes go up a couple days after the audio posting at youtube.com slash dive pods. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Leave mm-hmm. a review on Apple Podcasts so more people can know about our show and join in on the fun. Yeah. Yes. Five star only. Five, Five stars. star only. Good comments only. Yo. All right. So school, man. I'm honestly I miss school, school I think. I, I I miss it a lot. Uh I kind of miss it like the socializing part but not yeah. the studying part. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I could study again. No. Nah. Me neither. I don't think it's I have like, the brain think, for it. Yeah, I think I forgot how to study. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, uh is that possible? I don't know, yeah. Um I think it is, but I think if you ask anyone what they miss about school it's just like socializing. The fact, yeah, right? like yeah. being around your your friends and, and yeah. just playing I, I and don't, recess and all that. Yeah, I don't miss waking up at like 5.30 oh, every hell morning. No. Um, yeah, I don't miss getting in trouble. Um, I do I miss get learning. too much trouble. I miss learning. I, I miss don't learning. like… I don't miss yeah. studying but I miss learning. Yeah, I miss learning. Yeah. I feel like because it's like we're not really going to school or anything. We don't… Have like a job that like makes us go like… I mean you do radio. But like for us you know… We don't have one that's like every single day you know. Yeah. It's like I feel like… Yeah learning is definitely… For us. (laughs) (laughs) That was the sound effect of dropping. For people that are only listening but yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You guys went to all of like elementary, middle and high school in the states right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where'd you go? I did like my first semester of junior year. Uh-huh. I did up to my first semester of junior year and then I came to Korea. And then uh, senior year I did in Korea. And then I did like first semester of college in uh-huh. Korea. But then I just didn't have any time so I dropped out of college. So you did go to college though? For one semester. Oh. If that counts. It counts. I guess. Because you always say I didn't go to college. but Yeah, yeah. technically one semester. <laughs> I did three not semesters. even not even a full year. It's like one semester. How many, how many months is that? Like three months? Like four? Yeah, like four three four months. months, three, four months. Or something like that. Oh yeah, I remember you having that uh, the university yeah, my, jacket. Yeah, and... I was a class of, I think I was Ili Rakbon. Mm. Um, because I went early. Yeah. Uh, so I think I was Ili Rakbon at Hanyang University, and mm-hmm. then I had like the like the varsity jacket and everything. Um, so you went to senior year of high school in Korea. Yeah. How was that? It was um. Oh my gosh. T- I like technically like I don't know. They just like let me get away with everything. Cause you were a trainee. No, no, cause I was from America. Oh. So like yeah, in Korea they still wear uniforms. I know in like some places in America too they still wear uniforms mm-hmm. too. But in Korea they wear uniforms, and then you're supposed to have your name tag like mm-hmm. right here. But then like the word that I knew for name tag was irumpyo. Mm-hmm. But then they call it like Myeongchal or something ah. like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I remember like first day of school, I'm like, all right. And I'm just like walking and like there's like a teacher usually in the front like checking like if everyone's like following the rules with like hair length, like uh, like skirt, skirt. length, like, <gasps> like pants tightness, like all that stuff. Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden the guy's like… The guy was like, Myeongchal oh this? I was like, where's your name tag? But I didn't know the word for name tag. And I was mm-hmm. just like, what? And like, where's your name tag? And I was like… What is that? No, like, your name tag. Your name tag. I was like, what's the, I was like, what? I was like, yeah, I was like, Myeongchari boyo. And they're like, like, the eatum. I was like, I eat them pyoyo. And I like I had it in my pocket. But like <laughs> Here uh, you go. <laughs> yeah, but like uh because the company like bought it for me, like I'm supposed to return it and then they're just oh. gonna like reuse that like school uniform. You, can't so you couldn't sew it on. It on. Yeah. Uh. So I didn't sew it on. So I was like, oh here, here. and then they're like, why didn't you sew it on? And I was like, I was like, huh? And they're like, oh wait, are you the kid from America? And I was like, oh yeah. And they're like, ah, just go then. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Really? The Kyopo pass. Yeah. And then wow. like, you're not supposed to wear earrings, but I didn't know that either. I wore earrings to school, and they were like, they're like, is it okay for a student's ears to be this shiny? And like, I didn't know what he meant. And I was like, 
huh? <laughs> and like, oh, are you the kid from America? I was like, yeah. And they're like, ah, just Get go. Out of here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you had an easy senior year. Yeah. No, and then, no, like first semester, I like went like normally, right? And starting second semester, um, they were pretty much taking like the Korean version of like SATs, ACTs or whatever, the mm-hmm. Sunung. Um, but I wasn't taking that. I was taking a test called the TOEFL. Oh. Uh, to get it's like an English like yeah. written and like whatever exam to get into college. So I took that already. But then second semester, like the teachers were like, they have to study for their like SATs, what the standardized uh, standardized test uh, tests or uh-huh. whatever exam. So like, go to the library. And I was like, what? And I like, yeah, just stay in the library for like seven or eight periods and I just went home. And I was seven, like, what is this? Periods? I was like, why am I going to school? Oh my gosh. But it was, yeah. um, it was fun. <laughs> I loved junior high school and high school, but I hated college. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Why Why did you hate college? I don't know because I guess I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, mm. you know, I, I knew that I just enjoyed like dancing, singing and like right. theater and stuff. But I didn't really have… I didn't see a point in going to school for me at that mm. point. And there were a lot of complications with, um, you know, like going to college too. Because I couldn't mm. go to the college that I wanted. Like I couldn't get student loans. My parents mm. couldn't pay for Dang. it. So I just ended up going to a city university in Manhattan. Like so first like I didn't like the commute back and forth every mm. single day. Yeah. I really wanted the college experience going away. Like living in the dorm. But I couldn't do that because I couldn't oh, afford it. Right, so right, right. I just kind of went to school. But it felt like an extension of high school for me. But oh. less social. Less yeah. social because like it's just all the classes are different. I don't know oh. anybody in class. And um, Wait isn't it like that in high school too though? Like everyone's different <clears throat> in each class. No, not my high school. Oh really? I mean like… But then I don't know. We had more interactions. Yeah, in the high thing school. With, the thing with high school is like they, you're kind of almost forced to kind of interact with your friends and like you're around them all the time. But yeah. like city college, uh. I almost went to city college, mm-hmm. but I got accepted somewhere else. But even like where I did get accepted, I went to Cal Poly. But the first couple months, yeah, you don't really like interact with other people. Yeah, it's you like, don't like socialize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just mm-hmm. go to like. Learn and and do your stuff and come back out unless you get affiliated in some type of organization. Yeah, really? and a lot yeah. of people just do part time. Like they're taking classes part time too, and there are people of all ages, like yeah. you know, older people and young yeah, people yeah, right, too. Right, right, so right, it's right. like you just take the class and leave. Yeah, and much. Mm, yeah, I hated that's that. Harder, I guess the only classes I liked in college was like theater class and dance class. I hated mm. everything else. I hated like weather and climate. I failed it. And then once weather I… Weather and climate? And climate. Yeah. What do you even learn? It was for science. And then once okay. I figured out that I was coming to Korea… Which was in the uh, second year. Like second semester of second year. I was like… I still had like a month left. I was like… <laughs> like, <laughs> I just stopped going. And I was like okay bye. Like I'm going uh, to Korea anyway. So… Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. For me… I can't relate. Because I didn't go to college in America. Mm-hmm. But… Oh yeah. There's one difference with like Korean and American high school. Yeah. You know how America like the teachers stay in the room and then like you you rotate. Yes. Right? But for Korea the teachers… Um, come. The teachers come to your room. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you just, just stay, stay in, in the, the classroom. classroom. So for all like seven or eight periods you study with the same people. That's convenient but boring kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So I was I was a uh, I was so confused when I first went. I was like first period I was like wait like I don't have like a like it doesn't tell me my next room or like true, whatever. True. And like the bell rings like no mm-hmm. one's leaving or anything. Everyone's just staying there. I'm like yeah. All right, I'm just gonna do what these kids are doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here too. I was like what? <laughs> Act natural. Just yeah. <laughs> no one like, explained blend it to in, you. Blend in. No one explained to you that you just have to stay in the classroom? I mean, I'm sure they thought I knew. Oh. And then I just thought it would be like American high school. Oh. So I like went and I was just like, all right, first period. Like they like the homeroom teacher, right? He was mm-hmm. like, yeah, like you study here. Like, well, I was like, okay. And I was like, all right, so first period's here. And I was like, wait, I don't have like a, like a, what, like a, what do you call classroom? that? Like, they- like, the, like the period two, like room, whatever. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a class schedule. So I was like, like where do I go? 
Dang, I wish I had that. It was a you struggle. A no, we had um, we had to go from class to class. Right, we had like four right. minutes, and it was a yeah, struggle because yeah, yeah, yeah. my class passing period. My school yeah. was huge, and yeah. like if I had gym next, and I was on like floor four, and I had to go all the way down, it, I would have to like run, and we would have four floors. Yeah, our Wait, class, our school had like five thousand people. Oh, so did mine. Oh, wow. Like four. And we had like a street in school called 42nd Street because it was just jam-packed and crowded. And we literally were like this close to each other when we were moving Dang. during class. Wow. And, but it was cool because they played music for the four, four minutes. Uh-huh. Like every uh-huh. single period. So people would just be like dancing in the hallway. <laughs> Sometimes they yeah, play K-pop and that's when I was like, yeah. Damn, they play K-pop Korean in your school? Oh, yeah, really? when like Wonder Girls and like Big Bang was starting to get Dang. big. Oh, wow. Yeah, so… They played that during the four Your school minutes. school caught on quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even know about K-pop until like college. Yeah. Until I took yeah. my auditions. I was like completely unaware. I don't know. I mm. think something I… A school… Dang. I had like the most typical suburb… S- suburb high school life mm-hmm. that you kind of see on TV. Like you had the jocks. You had like, you know, the football jocks. Mm-hmm. The, the skaters. The, like the, the clicks? Where you I was tight with everybody. Oh nice. Wow. I was tight with everybody. Like I was tight with the, the jocks because… Everyone kind of like partied together. Yeah I was tight with everybody. But like I had these uh, three guys in high school that I was like super super close with. I'm just, I just like reconnected with them recently. But oh, nice. yeah me and them… We, were, we were got a lot of crazy memories. What, what, were you was, part of any like clicks? In junior high school I kind of was. I was hanging out, out with like all the… Korean gangsters. I just hung out with them, but I never did like the scary stuff with them too. Like, it's usually oh. the guys stuff, that the shady do stuff. Things. Yeah, I just hung out with them, and uh, but I was pretty good at just like mm, blending in. Blending in, yeah. And then in high school, I didn't belong anywhere. I was just like a wallflower. Like I didn't have close friends in high school. Well, I did, but they were a year younger than me, so. I couldn't really. I tell see you were about often. to cry. No. I was like, I "Well, I was like, I have no friends." Here. Yeah, I tell you were about to cry. I was like, and, "You okay?" <laughs> and it was just awkward because I did. I wasn't smart, but I studied hard and I tried hard in school. But uh-huh. then I wasn't like smart enough to fit in with like you know the smart kids. But I wasn't <laughs> like I wasn't like outgoing enough to hang out with like the popular kids. I was just like in the middle, and I didn't really have like. A clique that I belong to. I just had like a few close friends. And my high school life was pretty boring. Yeah. I was really shy then too. Yeah. So mm. I didn't oh, like sticking out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just very quiet. Well I mean… Uh, I was just like… <laughs> I was kind of… I wasn't really like a social butterfly. But I was kind of like… I was tight with everyone's… Oh I was on the dance team too. Mm. Yeah. No, no. From what I heard… Because of Matt, uh, Matthew like… Dance at their school got popular. Yeah. Oh. So but then like it wasn't like it wasn't like cool or anything. But <gasps> then after Matthew, I heard like people were like, oh shoot, like it's wow, pretty cool. Like, look I at guess you. so. Put yeah, dancing yeah. on the map for your school. That's what yep. I heard. That's yeah. what I heard. After the first rally where we performed, people looked at me like completely different. Like <laughs> really? I was like that dancer guy, you know. Ooh. And we had no Asians at our school either. So like Ooh. yeah. Everyone Represent. was just like, oh yeah. snap. Is hey. that when the Jabawakis were like popping off too? So they're like, oh yeah, Asians yeah, yeah, can yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Asians can yeah, dance. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. <laughs> Wow. It's like, oh, it's the dancing Asian. Hey, what's yeah. up? I'm like, yo, I got a me. bunch of questions like that. After job walk, he's up. They're like, hey, can you dance too? I was like, no. <laughs> you know how to do the wave, bro? I'm you like, know how to do the know. wave, bro? <laughs> I don't know. How to- <laughs> <laughs> Stop asking me. <laughs> we had so many Asians in my school. So Dang. many. I mean, it was New York and it was uh, Queens. So true, true. Did you guys ever get bullied in school? I wasn't bullied, but like, there were a lot of ignorant people. That just that like genuinely didn't know. Like I got a lot of questions. Like, hey, like, are are you Asian? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, like, what what, what kind of Asian are you? Mm. And I'd be like, uh, I'm Korean. And they're like, that's not Asian. What? <laughs> I'm like, you're not Japanese. I'm like, you're no. not Chinese. I was like, what? I was like, hold on. What, what's what, what's Asia? Like, what, what what's an Asian country? And they're like, China and Japan. And I'm oh like, my God. oh, I'm like, no, the Korea's part of Asia too. I'm like, you know, like. There's a lot of Asian countries, right? There's like a bunch. And they're like, oh really? And like they just like genuinely didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back so then like, it yeah, was either it was, it China or Japan. Like, um, yeah, it wasn't… 
I wouldn't say they were racist. I would just say they were like ignorant. Mm. Yeah. It was like indirectly <laughs> racist. I just got bullied when I first moved to New York when I was in fourth grade and I had to start school. My teacher then was really lazy. I guess she was annoyed of me not speaking English and having to teach me separately. So <laughs> mm. every day when class started, she would just call on me and be like, Ashley, go to the back of the room and just play computer while everyone else learned. And she purposely, she purposely sat me between the only two Korean kids in the class. So it to was help. a Korean boy and a Korean girl and I was oh, sitting wow. in between them. Uh -huh. But they hated me too. They were annoyed of uh, me. Like they don't want to teach me. So whenever my teachers told me… Whenever the teacher said… I'll actually just go play computer games. They literally went, yes, like out loud, like oh, next to me wow. to make me feel bad. And I was just like, I just, I was so sad, but I just went to the back and played games every day for like hours until I moved. And then I changed schools. And then that's when I met the best teacher ever mm. named Miss Farrell. And she was so passionate about teaching me English. And okay. Thanks to her, I was able to graduate ESL in like six months. Damn. But yeah, wow. if it wasn't for her, then I feel like… Wait, the, that other teacher though… Um, Shout her out too. Who? Yeah. I don't, even, yeah. I don't even remember what she looks like. But Miss Farrell, I remember her clearly. She was a huge Mets fan. Oh, was it Yankees? I don't know. But <laughs> she was she was really big on I mean, baseball. If it's New York… Um, yeah, wait. They're both? Oh, are they both? Yeah, they're oh, both Oh shoot, New York. I don't know that. Yeah. Shout outs um, to Miss Farrell. Do you remember the boy and the girl's name too? The, Hell no. I'm gonna say shout them out too one time. I don't remember their name. Hope names you guys are nowhere now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. But that's not what a teacher should be like. Um they should get a teacher card revoked. Wait, so what oh. kind of students were you? I mean, you were like the social one, the popular kid. I wasn't really I don't want to say popular. I was just chill with everyone. Like if I think back to who was popular, mm -hmm. we had the popular kids, like the, mm. the 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 dudes who like all the girls were up on and like you know who was loved by everybody yeah i was more just tight with everyone mm. yeah yeah hey, what um, about you guys what type of students were you guys i mean for me i was just like uh yeah i i just had like a few friends that i was close with um i wasn't really in like a clique or anything either i was just kind of just i was super quiet at school um I wasn't like, I was just like, oh, the Asian kid. <laughs> mm. Like that was, I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I was like, like uh, I wasn't super popular. I wasn't like a nobody. I was just kind of there. Yeah, I feel like my personality at school and outside of school were totally different. Yeah, me too. Me too. All my close friends were outside of school. Like mm. all my close friends were like church friends or like people I, I met through like dance schools or whatever. So I mm. barely hung out with the people at school and I was just really quiet. I was like a goody two shoes. I would go to all my classes. I Makes never sense. cut class till my senior year. I had like perfect attendance and I wow. just as soon as I ended school I went to another after school like tutoring or like dance class. So it was just like wow. I just kept myself busy. But um yeah I was like a nobody. Goody yeah. two shoes. Mm. No for me there was there was one point where um I was like I was super quiet at school, right? But mm -hmm. then like my friends like outside of school, like I'm pretty loud. And then there's this one mall that like it's just like I was just thinking mall right now, like yeah. hitting on girls <laughs> yeah, and stuff at yeah, yeah, the mall. Yeah. Um and then like the there's this one mall. It's um it's called Woodfield Mall. I think it might have changed the name now. Uh -huh. I think it's like Macy's or something. I don't know. But there's this one mall like in our sub suburb area that like everyone kind of went to. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was just like being loud. And then one of the… Like one of the girls from our school, they were like, Peniel? And I was like, oh shoot. I was like, this is kind of awkward. Like I've never talked to you in school. I was like, oh hi. They're like, I don't think I've ever heard you this loud before. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just like, ah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bye. This is awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Damn, I remember going to the mall and like… You know how like… If it's in a different city… People from other schools and other high schools… They go to that mall too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like rumors would go out like… Hey, like damn. You know the girls from… You know the city over… Them high school girls bomb. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Dude. that's it? 
<laughs> oh, cute. and the story. Yeah, oh. just, I mean, that just reminded me. Like, I don't know why. Right before you said mall, I was just thinking. I remember going to the mall and like checking out girls and all that. But that's like where everyone hung out. Yeah, um, yeah, that was back in the days. Like the malls. Yeah, even if you had like a girlfriend or something, it's like, you want to go on a date? It's like, yeah, sure. It's like, all right, meet you at the mall. Yeah, it's <laughs> always like, the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you want to do? I don't know. What is there to do? All right, let's go to the mall. <laughs> Get ice cream and like lemonade yeah. at the food court and just chill. Yeah, like watch movies. Yeah. Um, ours had like… um, So there's like Woodfield Mall. Mm-hmm. And then there there's this thing called like Streets of Woodfield. Like right across the street. And it's kind of like an outdoor like whatever. And then they had a place called Gameworks. I don't know if… Oh yeah, I had we had game yeah, works. Yeah, game works was lit. Hell they yeah. had like game works. Like too. arcade. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like a bunch of arcades. Like they had game works across the street too. So like that was the place to be too. But mm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember anything I learned in school. I barely do. Me neither. I feel like <laughs> nowadays stuff I learned is starting to go into like conversation now. Like like what. Psychology. I oh. was like super into psychology. Oh, I, I like psychology. You were in psychology in high school? Yeah. Yeah. AP, what? son. AP psych. Oh. AP. Oh, I never made it past junior year. In I got America, a so. B. Woo. <laughs> what? I thought it was AP classes are out of one, two, three, four. No? It is. All I got a B. Tests. So it's technically an A. What? Oh, really? Because it's AP. Oh, oh, true, yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think that's how it was with like honors classes too, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah that's that's what yeah, it is. It like, kind of goes up mm-hmm. one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, but like the other stuff, I don't know. I didn't like geometry. Mm. I don't think I've ever used geometry. Me neither. Or trigonometry. And like science stuff. I might have never used trigonometry. I I might have not ever even learned trigonometry. I don't know. I wish schools yeah, prepared math us. I gave up after <laughs> algebra <laughs> too. Why? <laughs> math was so fun. It was fun, but I was like school science like, stuff too. Like I hate it. I don't look at the clouds and I'm like, that's a… I f- I don't even remember the cloud name. That's a Nimbus. Nimbus. Yeah, like a <laughs> Nimbus cloud. <laughs> like, hmm, Nimbus cloud. It must rain… T- or I don't even know what the rain clouds yeah. are. But, um, I wish schools prepared us for the real world. But I don't like think taxes. it taxes. Yeah, I didn't learn any of that. Yeah, yeah they need to teach you about that taxes. in school. Taxes, taxes. Yeah. Are, oh, I always got jealous watching like Zoe 101. Did you guys ever watch Zoe 101? What? The one where it's like in space? What? Uh, <laughs> Where'd you get the Z- uh, Xenon? <laughs> Girl of Zoe the 21st century. Is the uh, uh, show with Jamie Lynn Disney Spears. Though, right? I don't know if it was Disney or Nickelodeon. I don't know. Uh, oh, Nickelodeon. Jamie Lynn Spears. Yeah. yeah. Everything wrong. But um, it was they basically went to a boarding school, and I always wanted to go to school like that because there they actually learned like useful stuff like taking care of babies and like cooking oh, really? mm. and yeah I always wanted to go to a school like that because the normal schools we go to they just prepare you for a standardized test right so you just yeah. learn you memorize and then you forget and you don't remember anything what's yeah, the point yeah, of taking all these AP classes if you're not going to remember anything I mean if that's if that's yeah. directed for your like if that is helpful for your career then yeah I understand yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. most of the times who are going who's going to become a mathematician like how many percent yeah you know so when it comes to that stuff, I kind of think like all that was kind of just a test of diligence. Like how diligent are you going to be in your studies? And like mm-hmm. I guess how is that going to apply to your… I don't know. I so really like your la- later in life like how fast are you going to give up I guess? Mm-hmm. That's just kind of, kind of like the way I try to look at it. Yeah. But the system itself, I feel like, like you said, they don't really teach you a lot of useful yeah. stuff that you feel like you need to use. I feel like yeah. all the useful stuff you learn when you need it, you hear it from word of mouth from people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or like, it's like, hey, how do you handle stuff. taxes? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Yo, how do I pay my bills? <laughs> like, I learned yeah. from YouTube. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, or that, or that. I don't know. But yeah, if it was a test of diligence, I definitely failed because, oh my bad, because I did not study. Yeah, I only studied I what I wanted to study too. I was such a procrastinator. Mm. Same. Like all, I, would just, I would do my homework. My homework I like finished like ASAP. Mm-hmm. Um, but like tests, like I wouldn't study for it. And then just like the day before, I would just like try to cram everything into my brain. Mm. Yeah, I um, sucked at tests. I was really weak with tests. I was watching videos and like Finland, I think, it has like the number one education system or something. They were like oh, really what? down there, but then they fixed their system so they were like number one or like at the top uh-huh. and they don't give homeworks. Like what? Yeah. The the maximum homework they do is like ten minutes a day. 
And what? when you're in, when you're younger, when you go to school, you only go to school um, like three, four hours a day because they oh. want you to actually be kids, like play outside, to spend time with your family, Dang. and they value that. And they don't even have standardized tests, and all schools are equal. You know how like some schools, like the smart kids, go there because you have to take a test to get in. Mm-hmm. But Finland, there's no such thing. Like all the schools are equal. So the rich kids go wow. to the school with not oh, rich kids, wow. and smart kids go to school with less smarter kids. There's equity. So, yeah, so it's equity. The, equity. Equity is that equity? the right word? I don't equity? know. Equity. I don't know. Isn't I have that no like idea? Equality. Yeah, equality. equality. <laughs> oh, okay. There's equality. <laughs> equity is like when it's equity. fair, right? I don't know. Damn, yeah. I need to raise my kids in Finland, bro. Yeah, right. dude. I'm gonna give you the life I never had. <laughs> And like, think about like three to four hours of school. How does that sound? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and they're one of the happiest countries, you know. Really? I think about how harder it must be in Korea then, like because Korean tests oh. are crazy, and Korean school systems yeah. are even crazier than in the states. Yeah. Um. I can't even imagine. No. Um. I was I was getting A's in math mm-hmm. in America, right? Oh. So like I came to Korea and like. Obviously, I don't know any of like the like the Google swap, like the like the Korean, Korean class mm-hmm. or like Korean language class and like all that stuff. Obviously, I can't follow, but I was like, I think I can at least follow in math and um, English and English, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, math came along and I looked at. I was like, what am I looking at? Right? I was like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I was like. That sign exists? I was like, what is that? This is a number? What the? What? I was like, whoa. I was like, hold on. What What math am I learning right now? Yeah. I was like, oh, on. aliens do exist. I was like, that's the alien language, right? I was like, oh my. I was so like, yup. They're on can't another follow level. Along math here. Mm-mm. And they don't use calculators. They like barely use calculators. What? Yeah, we you always have the seen- ti 80 and yeah, yeah, bro, those were like a necessity. You ever see like those videos? There's like idols who like do math in their head faster than a calculator. <gasps> yeah. They'll be like, "What's 453 times 637?" They'd be like, and they would just like get it <laughs> like, on the spot. Be like, how they would like do something with their fingers and like, they're like yeah, they're like thinking. They're like, yeah. I'm like, can, can I get a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> Remember for Whiting episode, we had like an we had a oh, math the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, like negative b plus or minus the square root of four a. See, I remember to that point. I don't remember. PEMDAS. Mm. PEMDAS. So I have PEMDAS. parentheses, uh, exponents, Multiple. multiplication, multiplication division, division, addition, addition subtraction. subtraction. Yeah. Hey, I don't know how to my- file my taxes, but at least I know the PEMDAS. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, how are so you going to follow your taxes? With Pendus, right? <laughs> That's how I calculated. <laughs> yeah. We got some people on Discord who sent us messages asking oh, nice. for advice nice. Nice. related to school. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Hey guys, I love the podcast. Just need some advice. I'm currently in high school. I'm meeting with my career counselor soon. So I'm trying to grasp my sense of identity to figure out what I want to pursue. How did you come to find your identity? And how did you figure out what you wanted to do? Thanks so much, guys. Like User this, dry underscore 1102. Mm, mm. This is what I wish like schools helped us to do. Right? Yeah. Like find no, but, our identity. And but didn't you guys like take the test? Where it's like, I think it was like… I think we did in middle school. Like you keep taking these tests. And it's like, do you like like whatever, whatever? And it's like you like take these tests and then it like Not prints out like yeah. Oh, is it aptitude test? Yeah, and then it prints out like a list of things that are like you might be interested in, mm. like and like uh, it like lists a few jobs and stuff. Nah, no. we didn't have that. You guys didn't ever, never yeah. did that, really. No. If we did, I probably wasn't paying attention. But oh, I mean, our our school did that. <laughs> yeah, I think that was in middle school when mm. we did that. It's know. like we did that stuff, but it's like I don't know. I didn't even have a career counselor. Like, yeah, I know. What? Yeah, I'm not sure what a career counselor is. I guess they just try to… We had a school counselor. Direct you. And- uh, yeah, whoever your career counselor is, they need to do their job better. How do you… You know… Oh, I mean, honestly, when in high school, it's kind of… I feel like the people who know what they want to do in high school, it's a very small percentage. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like 1%, I think. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not even 1%. And they… Generally, usually don't end up doing what they want to do too. I mean, a lot of people don't. So mm-hmm. I feel like right now in high school, 
um, enjoy what you want to do. Don't be, don't feel too pressured because like, yeah, for sure. I, I debuted when I was 25, 24, 25. And that's mm. three years, that's, that's um, three years after the average age where you come out of college. Mm-hmm. Mm. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Like, you know, when I was in, in high school, in college, and then, you know, I found my career at 25. So, you have a lot of time. Don't even, don't even worry about that. Yeah. But as far as like, what, how to find it, I feel like if you want to be happy and like do what you want to do, look for the stuff that, like I just said, makes you happy. And yeah. What you want to do. For sure. Um, don't care too much about like what other people think. If you're trying to find your identity. Because if you care about what other people think, I feel like that's just going to rub off on you. And then pretty much you're just going to be doing um, whatever you're doing to kind of please other people. Yep. So yes, just don't care about that stuff. If you're trying to find your own identity. Yeah, do you. Just, yeah, do you, do you, you do you. Yeah, and don't feel and bad then, about not exactly knowing what you're going to do. Because yeah. you're still so young. Like yeah. high school. I, I came to Korea as a trainee. Not even… Like I didn't even… I wasn't like… Oh I want to be an idol. I just kind of gave it a go. So I see just um, try a lot of things out. Yeah. Um, don't restrict yourself. Don't yeah. be too scared to try something new out. Just go out there. Explore. Adventure. Um, and I'm sure you'll find something. Because I didn't know I wanted to uh, be on stage and stuff too. Um, like I never even thought… It's like most people that live in the suburbs, they're not like, I'm going to become an artist, you know? Mm-hmm. No. Um, I feel like that's more like a like a city thing, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I grew up in the suburbs. I never thought I would ever be up on stage and stuff. But um, I just followed my friend to an audition. Uh, they told me to come to Korea. I was like, all right. And then the first time I was on stage was for a showcase. It was like mm-hmm. before our debut. And then after that, I was like, yo, this is fun. I was like, I like being on stage. And then… So yeah, like I I wasn't like up till before I was on the stage. I didn't know that I wanted to be on stage. So just try a bunch of things out. Don't don't be scared. All right. So we have a message that also that oh this one I think you could help. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a, a message that says I want to be a radio personality. Mm. Mm. It was something I wanted to do since I was twelve. Year in- twelve. Oh, year 12. So I think high school, right? 2012? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. like 12th grade. 12th oh, 12th grade. grade. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think, right? Yeah. And, uh, okay, and she says, And now I have entered a university degree to pursue, pursue this dream of mine. Mm. I have trouble openly telling people because I'm honestly kind of embarrassed. And what if it doesn't work out? And so my family members have kind of discouraged me. Mm. I was also ser- scared to tell my high school career counselor… Because I know that telling… Oh yeah, I, was, I was also scared to tell my high school career counselor. I know that telling people is a great way to network and bring possible future opportunities. Uh, did you guys have this issue with self-confidence and telling people what you wanted to do and seriously pursuing it? And how did you overcome this fear? Mm. From Liz. From Liz. Liz. Mm. Hi Liz. Interesting. Yeah. So… Some pros and cons of being a radio personality. Yeah. I feel like you would have a lot to say about this. Actually. Radio personality? Um, I mean, be, being a radio DJ, it's got a lot of pros and cons, I think. You mm-hmm. get to communicate with people every single day. Um, I don't know. It really depends on the radio show. But yeah. you get to speak I mean, your mind mm-hmm. and just talk about whatever you want. Right. Um, it's just a little hard if it's live every single day because there is a commitment. But mm. that's not that's not bad enough to like outweigh the pros. Um, but yeah, I totally get what she is saying when she says she's kind of scared to tell other people because of it not working out. Because I'm someone that's kind of afraid of failure too. Mm. And I get st- scared to start something because I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Right. And yeah, I find myself scared to tell people of what I want to do of, or about my goals and dreams because like what if it doesn't work out. But um, I think with radio, it's something that I wanted to do also ever since I debuted. And you know, I was in the industry. It's, uh, English radio was something that I wanted to do. And mm-hmm. I kept telling my managers. I kept telling people around. Uh, whenever I had interviews, I said like I wanted to do an English radio. And I feel like that's how the word got around. And somehow mm-hmm. they like casted me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know it must be s- scary. But since it is something that you definitely know you want to do mm-hmm. since you're 12. I feel like… Go for it. Yeah. There's, yeah. Don't Go hold back. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um… 
I don't know. Radio… Doing radio is pretty cool. Like I don't know why you'd be embarrassed to say you want to be a radio personality. Um, you know, it's a… Uh, it's like you could get a bunch of guests and everything too. It's like, I don't know what kind of radio you want to do specifically. But mm. um, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's yeah. like every single job has a certain like role in society I think. So mm. there's no job that's like not important I think. Yeah. Especially now too. I feel like radio and like yeah. podcasts is like on the come up mm-hmm. too. So Yeah. 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 So um, yeah. Like you said. They know that… Telling people can open opportunities. So I think you should go around saying that. And then who knows? Like maybe one of your friends knows someone. They're like, oh, yo. Like you want to… Like I know this person that works at this like radio station or whatever. Like you want to interview. Like blah, blah, blah. Um, Your career counselor might know too. Who knows? So I think, yeah. Like just go around. Like Ashley. You know, just keep saying it. And yeah. you know, maybe someone will pick it up. Um, And who knows? Who knows? Mm. And like I I think I confide in my friends a lot because they are really supportive when it comes to this. And they gave right. me that extra push to go for whatever mm. I want. Because when I'm scared, I'm like, mm. I want to do this, but I don't know if I can. Like, oh, I feel like I won't be good enough. You know, my friends are always like, no, just do it. Like, you can do mm. it. Mm. Um, so I feel like confiding in your friends and maybe talking to them about it will yeah. kind of help too. Because um, yeah. if they are really your true friends, then they will support you and you know. that. Yeah, and I mean, if your friends say like, don't do it, then they probably have a good reason to. True. If they're saying like, if like all of them are saying like, oh, I don't think you should do it. But I mean, I feel like by like kind of not saying you want to do it and not like setting that goal, it's that much easier to give it up too, though. Mm, I feel like so. Yeah, bro. um, Yeah, just say it, set it as your goal, and you know. You could fail the first time or whatever. There's a popular saying, right? It's like, it's not actual failure unless you give up. Mm. Mm. Um, before that, until you give up, it's just a learning step. Yep. So I say go for it. Radio, radio is great. Radio yeah, you just is gotta fun. go for it. Yeah. yeah. You you you've already taken like you're already more than halfway there if you picture yourself doing it. Mm. Yeah, and it yeah. seems like you picture yourself doing it and you really want it. Especially if you've been doing it. If you've been like picturing it since you're 12. Yeah. So. And they, they went to university to pursue the dream yeah, too. You, have, so. you, got a, you got this yeah. on lock Liz. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on yeah. Liz. Good luck Liz. You Nike this. just do it. Take it. <laughs> Take that chance and go kill that radio. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You're already there. You're already there in our… Alright. I don't even know why you right. sent this post in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you silly goose you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, well, man, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up today's topic on school. We talked a lot yeah. about our teachers, our our mm. backgrounds. I think we, you can kind of like, you can kind of yeah. have learned about us three and how we kind of handled school back in the day. And hopefully if there was a little bit of advice that you took from it, that would be dope too. Mm. Um, yeah, man, school is nothing, bro. Just breeze through it, have fun with it. And... Yeah, man. Be happy. <laughs> Be happy, yeah. I don't Most feel like important. you need school to do pursue certain things. I mean, like, I'm not discouraging yeah. school because education is important. But mm, if course. there's something that you really want to pursue and it doesn't require school, I feel like yeah. you don't have to take out student loans to go to college. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to um, invest time. That's me. That. Like, college, I went to first semester and mm. then I took a leave of absence for, like… Like two, sem- two, three semesters. And then they were pretty much like, yeah, like um, if you want to stay in school, like you pretty much have to just keep getting Fs and just repeating the first year. And then, but I would have to keep paying my right. tuition fee though. Yeah. So I was like, wow, they, they try to set yeah. you up. Mm-hmm. No, like they were like, the school is pretty much like, yeah, you could do leave of absence or, or you could uh, like quit school or like if you want to stay in the school, you have to do it like this. So, and I was like, oh, all right. Um, and like for me, like, I was born in America, so I don't have to go to the army. So I don't have anything with that either. So, mm. and, um, and I was um, like before I got into college, I was still a trainee. Like I, while I was a trainee, I got into college, and then they're like, "You're gonna debut." So I took the leave of absence. But then, like, like I was already like, I already debuted. Do I really need school right now? School has nothing to do with my career, anyways. It was 
international politics or something like that. Because mm. um, that was the only class they taught in English. <laughs> that was the only major that taught in English. So uh. I was like, all right. Um, so I was like, I don't think I really need it right now. So I just dropped out. Mm. True. So, but there are some, I mean, if it's like a college for school, Mm-hmm. Then yo, go for it. It's probably gonna help you learn a bunch of other stuff too. Oh yeah. Um, and if you, you know, if you don't have to like struggle to do it, I say, I say like, it's not gonna be negative in yeah. any way. But mm-hmm. I don't think like you absolutely like need it. But education is important. Yeah. Yeah. If you have your dream and 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 unlock in your head, go for it. Uh, if you don't, that's no problem. If you're in junior high school, high school, or college, wherever, and you're the type to feel a lot of pressure, don't don't be too pressured. Just breeze through it. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, man. That being said, we're gonna wrap up today's show. Um, IG and Twitter at the Dive Studios. Full episodes on YouTube.com/slash/DivePods. Mm-hmm. Once again, subscribe and review the podcast with five stars. Five stars. And uh, thank you for listening again today, guys. Thank you. Right. Bye. Peace. See you. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts.